Hello everybody, CW here. I made it to the range with the Tuffy. We're having a ceasefire, so I can't touch anything, but I figured I'd start out the video. Um, what I've got here is I've got a scope over there we're gonna use for accuracy. It's just a four power, um, what is this thing? It's a European four power. It's actually pretty nice quality. Um, got a nice reticle in it that I really like. It's just like that new, well, very similar to that new, uh, a new, a new one I just got. Something's, oh, it's, it's those things. I got nervous. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking it'll give us better accuracy for, uh, for checking how the 45 Colt shoots. And I've got the laser on there from Monstrum. I'm hoping that we can see it. I was just about to start and we called for a ceasefire. So I can't, I can't touch anything right now. Um, but uh, what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can get that laser on the paper. Um, over here at the rifle, so I got 50 yards. That's more than I'm probably gonna really ever shoot this. But if I can get this centered at 50, it'll be interesting. I can move back over to the pistol line and uh, we can shoot it at 25 and we can see just what the difference is and we can see how repeatable that might be taking the laser off and putting it on. So that's another thing we can check and test. I've got two different factory loadings here and I've got a couple of hand loads and I've got a bunch of 410. I've got some slugs. I've got some uh, defensive stuff for handguns uh, with BBs and... BBs and... Uh, PDX Defender. It's got uh, discs, four plated defensive discs, and then 16 plated BBs. They're three inch, but they're going pretty slow, only 750. Now, is that rated a handgun? I don't know. I'm not gonna shoot more with a chronograph, so we're not gonna find out. I don't wanna blast my chronograph, but it's, uh, it's a real good looking shell. I don't know if you can find these anymore. And it's super bright out here, so I'm sorry for the conditions. I'm going to move this camera around. I believe the, the gentleman here with me, Tony over there, is going to be leaving. And uh, if that's the case, I'm going to move the camera out in front and give you a, a video of me from the front. So just to try a different angle. And I'm hoping that it's going to be better for the light because right now the sun is right up there. And uh, it's pretty bright, pretty bright out here. So you can see how dark everything is back in here. Sun. And uh, so that's what I got planned. I do have those 444s um, over there on the bench um, with birdshot. And um, we'll touch a couple of those off. I'd also really like to see what they do for a pattern. Um, so we can change out the choke. Um, we'll do all that over at the pistol range because the pistol range also has a shotgun. Um, shotgun uh, patterning board. All right, so there's just an intro to what we've got going on, what we're gonna be doing. And uh, got some herder slugs here. I've got a couple of RWS three inch slugs and I've got some uh, high brass number sixes. And here is those 444s loaded up with birdshot to fire form to see what our chamber looks like. There we go. Using my CV Life bag and the rest, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So stand by. All right, we're going to try one of these uh, birdshot loads got the choke in here for uh, for 45 Colts, so we're not going to do it for patterns, but we just want to see if we can figure out what kind of chamber we've got and uh, what this looks like. Get this sling off here. We don't need this in our way. All right, first shot. First shot out of the gun. And we've got a misfire.
got a dent, but it's very light, so we got a little bit of a headspace issue. Let's see if I can get it to go. Wow, we may have a problem. We may not be able to shoot these. Although that's a pretty good dent. That's probably a bad primer, which is very odd. Let's try another one. Ready? Let's see what this chamber looks like. All right, definitely a step here. And it's very obvious. Let's see if I can get this on video for you. We're alone on the range, so we don't need to worry about ceasefires and such. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Yeah, that's pretty good. See the see the, the line right there. So we got a 45 Colt chamber, and then it tapers down. Four, four, four. So no problems with that. It formed real nice. Let's fire off the rest of these and see what we get. That uh, stud was strange. Very, very strange. So we'll save one or two in case we can do a patterning. Another misfire. Not strange that we got another one, unless it's the same one. Nope, it's not the same one. Here it is over here. I don't know what could have caused that. These are, uh, what are these primers? They're older primers, but shouldn't be the issue. I believe they're Magnum Rifle. They come right out. They pop right out of the cylinder, no problem. I'm sorry, right out of the barrel. Yep, they pop right out. We'll have a good look at these back at home under the lights where we can get a good picture on the video. Another one. Hmm, that's bad. That's bad. I do have another 410 here. We can try these in. See if they'll go off over there, but it's a pretty good, damn it, look at that. Why? I gotta believe it's not, it's a pretty good dent. Not as deep as it could be, but it's a pretty good dent. But they're forming out perfect. They're forming out perfectly. Another one. Hey, I got that one to go on a second time. So that kind of proves to me that we've got a Little bit of debris. We've got something going on. Yeah, the primer is just proud. Just proud of the case. So it is it is a headspace issue. These rims are thinner on the 444s. Little bit of powder residue inside, but no, it's pretty clean. I'm not even gonna worry about patterning these because I really don't care what they would pattern like. But they're forming up very nicely. 
if you remember, I think I showed you, I annealed the crap out of these. Another one. I annealed the crap out of these. <laughs> oh, five times fire and it finally went. So it tells me that that's not the, not the gun, it's the shells. And they, they will go off. We can try these, these four, we can try them again, maybe turning them a little bit. Will help, maybe not. That's unfortunate. That's got to be something going on there. I'll show you this primer. It's it's a pretty good dent. See if we can get it to focus. That's a pretty good dent. I don't think it's going to get any better with a, a different 410. And let's see what all these look like. They're all, they're all pretty good. We'll try these two again. Hoping that just turning them a little bit might do something. Try this one too. Again, this is this is just because of the thickness of the rim and the recess of the primer. Headspace is not quite perfect. All right, so let's just uh, let me just grab the other 410. And see if they'll go off in that. I guess I can leave you on here. That. That's There's the other foot. Let's see what this one does. Of course, we're not going to get the, the chamber that we want. We're going to get this chamber. Let's see. Oh, this one didn't fire either. Well, that's a good, that's a good deep dent. It's just because of the 444. Yep, it's just because of the 444. It's unfortunate because these shells are pretty much nothing now because they're sealed. I glued them shut and you can't get anything out of them unless they fire. There's no way to clear it out. Everything is packed in there so tight. So here you go. It's going to happen probably to you as well if you're doing this kind of thing. So. There is some sacrifices, but there we go. I got quite a deep video. We'll do a second video, finishing up shooting this a little bit and seeing what we get for uh, for accuracy. So stand by. I guess we'll uh, we'll call it quits. God bless everybody. CW out.